Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So I have a couple of Kayser Craft items here that I have picked up recently. So I thought I'd walk you through them. So if you want to come with me while we go through, just keep watching. All right, so the first two items we're gonna start off with are these adhesive notes. We've got one little pack here, which is your, mag uh, your basic matchbook one. And this is out of the same collection as this one, I think, which is called basic and then this one is the more traditional I guess for Kayser Craft kind of notepad stack and this is the Wonderlust one this was the only book I couldn't get when I went to Kayser Craft I couldn't get the Wonderlust sticker book so unfortunately I didn't get that but I do have other things from not from the Wonderlust but I've got other things from other collections so this is also from the basic one oh hold on sorry so just to let you know so this one's five dollars and this one's four dollars so you get three packs and you get one two three four five six different designs on this one this is just a basic set of alphabet stamps there's nothing too fancy in this but i really liked the idea of having another set of alphabet stamps and i love the fact that it did this so they actually click in together so if i wanted to write i'm just trying to find something quick that i can do so i'm just going to write plum just because it's easiest so p l So if I wanted to write plum, that's now actually stuck together and so it'll stamp completely straight. So that was why I really liked these. They were only $10. I did buy all of this when they had their 40% off uh, Kayser Craft stuff, so I did get 40% off that. So to me, that's a good deal. Um, do I need them? No. I have plenty of stamps already, but you can never, in my opinion, you can never have enough letters. Letters are just one of those things that always come in handy, so I'm excited to have those. And then the last things I got were the two sticker books. Like I said, the Wonderlust wasn't available, but I really loved this basic one. I had a sort of a quick flip through in the store. Oh, come on. doesn't want to come out. Oh, that's stuck on the back now. That's different. Righto, so like I said, this one's called Basic. How's it got dog hair on it already? And so it's got a very much a, a pale green blue gray kind of thing with just gold highlight so you've got your sort of circle ones there got two different sizes which is kind of cool you've got your smaller ones pardon me and then some bigger ones here as well we've got some numbers and letters which I still I still find this a bit of a gripe with Kayser Craft ones that they don't cut out the bit in the middle if you were really oh that's annoying right so I can't use any of those ones that's good I will say that sometimes Kayser Crafts quality control is not great. It just, it kind of frustrates me a little, but you live with it. Um, I do wish they were cut out. If you were so inclined, you could get in there and cut it out with a knife. I did try doing that a couple of weeks ago with something that I was doing. I think I was attempting, I did attempt to do a card video for you guys, which didn't turn out all that great, um, but we still have somewhere. Um, I tried to cut out some of the letters and I just basically ruined the stickers, so I don't suggest doing it unless you're really hell-bent on having those uh, we've got some half circles here with your noted you've got some tab ones you've got some flags too which are really nice this is the part that I love the most you've got your Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday all here you've got one set and then you've got your Monday Tuesday with littles you've got your currentlies your memos you noted all your months and in short versions as well which I just think is really cool date night which is really cool there too Got some washi style ones at the top and then got some little flags at the bottom. This is feeling sticky. No, it's okay. Whew. I was worried that it was going to be that page. Yeah, so you've got this repeat of that one. So then you've got some numbers up the top here and then some down the bottom as well and some symbols. Got the light blue or I don't know if you call that blue or grey. That's a little harder to see with the gold but it is still there and it is still very pretty. Got some little circles. I like those heart ones. Noted plan today. Hello. It's cute. I got some more words. So birthday wishes, dreams do come true. Start somewhere. Birthday fun. Really great to stick on if you're a memory planner and you've got all your photos on a spray. Be really cool to put some of those on there. You've got some um, like card, not card one, present gift labels there. Let's celebrate. I like that little um, checkbox that's got today and then it's got down the bottom live in the moment. Then some more little square ones at the bottom. That's cool. 
So you've got your ABCs along the top, but then you've also got these check boxes, and they are singular with the gold foil. So if you did want to do a full check box, like a full list with these check box check boxes, you could. Got some more word ones here with the dots. So this week, this month, today, unforgettable, and then some quotes with some hearts. And that is it for the basic one. I love that one. I think that's probably one of my favourite ones we've seen from Kayser Crafts in a little while. Uh, so the Kayser Crafts sticker books have gone up to $12. If you remember right where, back when we started looking through these, they were only $10. They have now gone up to $12. I don't have an issue with that with the ones that have foiling, which that one does, and I think this one does too. It says on the front that it's got gold foil accents, but I'm going to argue and say that I can't see any in here. So we'll see at the end. The ones that have gold foil or any other kind of foil, I agree with being $12. I don't agree with the ones that aren't. I don't think that they're worth $12. That's saying something because, they, of course, it's worth $12. But I just think $10 was the better price point for the non-foiled ones. So this one is called Colourpop. So it is going to be a rather bright, vibrant one. I do like that green. And you guys know I've been playing with different colours lately, so it's nice to have something a little more bright. So you've got your pinks and your blues. Got some more letter, letter ones, more quote ones. Let's celebrate a little reminder, choose happiness. You've got two pages of that. Then you've got your blue. Not quite navy, but it's pretty close. So you've got some little squares, some uh, flags, and then some quotes. Tough times never last, but tough people do. That's a good one. Uh, I've got some little circles here, some with the flowers, and then some with some words. Got some more quotes there with just some plain boxes as well. Not sure how these fit into an Erin Condren style um, like vertical planner, but they probably would fit or be very close. Got some planner words, so noted birthday, party time, etc. in the purple or with pink and then the pink with pink. Two pages of the numbers. Those green ones would have been really good in my Lime and Mortar week. Got some washi. You've got some big circles, some with quotes, some with just drawings. You've got your tabs and your half circles. You also have your days of the week here. So it's a different way to use them, which is kind of cool that they've included that. Oh, and you get three pages of those. That's different. Three pages of that. I like that because you, you, I like the three days of the week. And then you've got some more gift labels, some more quotes, and then some little flowers there as well. So like I said, it's it's telling me a lie on the front that it says with gold foil accents. There are no gold foil in that. But, yeah, all right, for $12, especially I didn't actually buy it for $12. I bought it for 40% off. So I'm always happy to get these at the discount. I generally don't mind getting them not at the discount, but I think $10 for the non-foiled ones is a much better price point than the 12 That's my opinion. You guys feel free to argue with me. Leave it in the comment section down below. Um, or you can find me any of my socials. I'd love to have a debate with you over the price point of Kayser Craft stickers. But that is it for today's video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Let me know if you'd like to, me to use either of these in my planner um, decorating. It probably won't be until early next year because I have them all planned out now. But if you'd like to leave it down below, I will definitely keep that in mind. I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day and I will see you again in my next video. Sending lots of huggles. Bye!